<laughs> Welcome back to Brofs. That was a very uneventful <laughs> elevator ride. Oh, God dang it. <laughs> if we were recording during that elevator ride, I definitely would have uh, done the uh, done the music for the elevator. I thought it was just going to be a long transition. Turns out it wasn't. Bring him this way! Bring him this way! Aha! Why would you throw that? <laughs> you could use it to stab him. I meant throw it. I've never had it to stab. Every time I've grabbed a knife, it's for throwing. Hmm. That's why it's called a throwing knife. Oh, uh, god dang it. <laughs> Maybe uh, Cody's the only one that can stab. It's time I become the mayor. It's possible. My bad. It's all good. I got a little too caught up in the moment. <laughs> My Zangief uh, lariat right there. It, I just still see a buffed out Ron Swanson. You had me at Meat Tornado. <laughs> I can hit away bottles. Oh, sweet. I can suplex them away by using someone's body. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. He kind of does look like a Michael Jackson thriller ripoff. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> You know what? Hagar kind of looks like Tom Selleck. Okay, yeah, I could go for that. Ooh, little <laughs> Magnum PI action going on here. A little Blue Blood. That's a good show, by the way. I've actually not seen it. What? I hear fantastic reviews. Look at that. You killed Tom Selleck by saying that. My bad. I'm gonna feel really I'm gonna feel really bad if on this on this release date. <laughs> oh man, don't say that. I'm blaming it on you, obviously. <laughs> Can't blame anything on me if you haven't said it yet, so there we go. Welcome to Suplex City. And the pile driver! <laughs> and another pile driver! I got him. Aww. <laughs> I got hit by the one from behind. Ooh, an orange. Giggity? Ow. Taking Light this guy screen. to a wrestling Light screw. School. <laughs> wrestling screw. Ow! <laughs> wrestling screw. Got a knife. I got a knife. You missed. Ow. Fight with honor. <laughs> you shall win. <laughs> Stay right there, Andor. <laughs> I'm glad you didn't run into that. That was close. <laughs> that was close. Damn it. <laughs> Ow. Didn't even think about that. What? Leave me alone! Suplex, suplex, suplex. And another suplex. Ow. 
And the pile driver. Oh, I got stabbed. <laughs> Ninja, vanish. Stand up, you. I want to do that. There's plenty of knives. <laughs> well, yeah. shit. This guy's name is Bread. Really? Sorry, I got the hiccups now. Yeah, looks like bread. Lady? <laughs> Story time. Put her up against the wall! So, um... <laughs> I have frequent... I have, uh, frequented... <laughs> not the right word. I have, uh, gone to a, uh... Place of a uh, gentlemanly entertainment a time or two in the past. <laughs> gentleman's club? A gentleman's club, if you still will. <laughs> Anyways. Um, it was just a standard bar, you know, so it was uh, topless only. Anyway, oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah. Anyways. Um, you should enjoy this. They don't serve food there, obviously. Um, just alcohol, soda, mm -hmm. stuff like that. And it's kind of one of those places you don't Otherwise necessarily want to eat at, you know? Have... <laughs> no. Especially certain things like oysters. <laughs> Anyways. Just, no. Um, I had gotten... Uh, oysters, tacos. I had gotten friendly with some of the people there and everything like that, where, you know, they would talk or we would talk and everything like that. The staff and everything like that, from bartenders to... Uh, dancers to security, everyone, you know? Uh -huh. <laughs> Anyways. I go with my buddy, um, the doctor, is what his uh, name is here. Um, you guys might hear him as Tim when I wind up bringing him on. And so, there we are. We're just kind of chilling and everything like that. We're getting ready to play some pool. And one of the, um, waitresses, uh, Damn it. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. <laughs> One of the waitresses uh, was like, oh, you know, I made a... Because we were talking about how we were thinking about going to go grab something to eat here in a little bit. And she's like, well, I made some uh, spaghetti that I brought with me, and I'm not hungry if you want to have it. And I was like, um... And she's like, well, I only really have enough for you right now. And I was like, okay. Sure, I'll, I'll uh, eat your spaghetti. So... <laughs> Anyway, she heats it up in the microwave and everything, right? And I, I'm I'm preferably the microwave than other things, <laughs> but go on. <laughs> I keep suplexing him into you, and I'm you sorry. Stop hitting me. <laughs> anyway, after after she heats it, after she heats it up, you know, this up in the microwave. And the thing is, it like it was very very tasty, you know. Definitely a eight nine out of ten on spaghettiness, you know. So I'm eating it, That's right? The power of ragu. What is? <laughs> I got you, Stephen Hawking. <laughs> so, anyways, I had a uh, I had dinner at a strip club, and you remember that scene in um oh shoot what was it Firefly where Saffron makes uh, Mal the uh, the meal, and how. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, my buddy was kind of, like, looking at it, like, washed, and he's like, oh, no, I'm fine, I'm fine, I'm, I'm quaint. And I'm just like, oh, you know, this is a, oh, God! <laughs> this... That's what you get! I'm like, oh, you know, this is a, this is good. Um, this is good, but, uh, you know, <laughs> it was just, it was weird. But it was very tasty. I don't have anything quite that interesting. Um... <laughs> But I can say the first time that I uh, graced a gentleman's club, um, it was actually um, like a, a restaurant liquor establishment. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, no, it was it was a full it was a full on 
Yeah. Full on spot. No clothes whatsoever. Um, learned things about the female body that probably nobody should. <laughs> um, but I was. For the most part, I was a very restricted person. Fun. Did not feel did not feel the necessity to really go there. Um, and my buddy was all about doing it for his birthday. Um, had an interesting proposition for me because I had been talking to him about going to church. And uh, like, okay, well, so wait, were you having the, were you having this conversation at the gentleman's club? <laughs> No, no, no. This was before the Gentleman's Club. So the okay. deal was is that he took me to the Gentleman's Club. <laughs> and we go there, we experience that. And then the very next day, we go to church. <laughs> to be cleansed of your sins. Thank goodness I'm not... Thank goodness I'm not Catholic. I would have had to confess that. <laughs> now I just... Now I just do it for entertainment value. Via the internet. Well, I was about to say, what, go to church? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've got a pretty good church here. I definitely enjoy my Crossland days. <laughs> so that was it. Apparently we saved the girl. Yeah, we saved my daughter. We saved the daughter. Oh, there she is. Cody! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what was all that about? <laughs> guy where are you going how can you just walk away from me sorry babe me and guy were just gonna do butt stuff <laughs> <laughs> oh man i know Bucky we've gone over our stocks the streets <laughs> oh, Caddy. i know we've gone over time but the thing is there's not really much of a left we can't help it yeah so uh let's go ahead and uh Go ahead and sign here. <laughs> oh, so yeah, everybody, that was a that was a final fight. I was about to say Street to Rage. That was final fight. <laughs> Close uh, enough. So um, we'll be figuring out the next game. Hope we'll be loading up on Bro Ops, and I hope you enjoyed it as a uh, as Mr. Zach said over there. And, um, yeah, you have anything hey, you want to add to this? Cares, apparently. Um, we might just want to get the phone. Oh, no, here we go again. <laughs> My daughter's been kidnapped for the fifth time this week. Damn it all. <laughs> uh, Where's Liam Neeson when you need him? <laughs> all right, everybody, have a good one.